What's going on guys? Hey Paul's here with a very quick tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to go from Substance Painter straight to UE4 without having to go to Photoshop at all. Uh, these textures came straight out of Substance Painter on its export. I brought them straight into UE4 and this is the result. It looks fantastic. It looks exactly pretty much like the same roughness values and everything that we've got here uh, as you can see there very rough it looks pretty much identical to me I know it's different lighting conditions but the surface properties look about pretty much the same so quite pleased no longer have to go into Photoshop and do all this manual labor we can do it right here <coughs> excuse me so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our export channels and I'm going to go to this configuration here. Now, there is one here that's already done for you, um, but it, what it has that I don't like is assuming there's an opacity channel. And I don't like that, and I just made a copy of it. I think I can probably just remove that one. Uh, I have made my own, which is a little bit simpler, and I'll show you guys how I made it really quick. Okay, so it's brand new. You just get rid of everything. You know, make a copy, name it whatever you want, call this UE4 export, and I want my diffuse channel, I want my masks, and then I want my normal map. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the name here, and I'm going to first say I want the project name underscore, then I want the texture set underscore D. Okay, then I'm going to copy that, and this one's going to be M, and this one's going to be NM for normal map. Okay, so I want base color here, RGB channels. I want first the roughness because I always put roughness in red. Gray channel. Now A channel I believe is just transparency values. Okay. So use the gray channel because you want the darks as well as the lights. Okay. And then G is metallic. B will be ambient occlusion. RGB for the next one will be normal map direct X. I think you could probably use OpenGL and it'd be the same thing. And that's it. That's all you got to do. When you go to export, make sure you choose that. Okay? Choose that configuration. UE4 export here. Again, just assign, you know, you just assign them. So roughness went here, and it's just going to make that, for all that stuff we were doing ourselves, it's going to do that automatically for us. And it'll do all three, unless you just want to do two or one or whatever. And then you hit export, boom. You get these, boom. Okay? It's, this is, Material 1, you can see mat 1, mat 1, mat 1, okay, with the D, the M, and the NM. Uh, then you, you just drag them straight into UE4. Make sure that M has an sRGB unchecked, okay. These are better textures, by the way, than what happens when you go 16-bit Photoshop. When you go 16-bit Photoshop, the roughness values and things like that are actually darker Okay, this is brighter, so all we need to do is uncheck sRGB. We no longer have to do masks. If you export this way, you don't want to do masks. It's actually going to brighten it too much. It's when it can become completely un, um, unreflective. Okay, uh, and then you end up with plugging it in. You, I just plugged it in. That's it. I, here's the D. This, these are these are the ones I did export straight from from it. Okay, panel vice mat one underscore M. Okay. And this one's there. So it's a linear color because the sRGB is unchecked. And straight plugged in, it looks identical. And I never went into Photoshop. So I do want to thank um, uh, uh, this guy. <laughs> Why do you export everything in Photoshop when you can make all maps in Substance Painter, including this sRGB channel thing? This part can be skipped. And he's correct. He is correct. And I had actually realized it and learned that. I saw it. Um, I can't remember. I think it was on a screenshot. Or actually, I saw it in the program. I was like, wait a minute. Because I was looking through the configurations, and I saw this. And I was like, roughness metallic. And I was like, oh, you can just, oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, I got all three channels here if I want, or all four even. Duh, I'm stupid. I don't even have to go to Photoshop. And then and then he posted the, the uh, comment uh, pretty shortly after that. So... I do want to thank him. Uh, oh, I get it. His name is Isvarzon. It's a Varzon out here. Okay, so uh, this is Ipon signing off. Hopefully you guys uh, can benefit from this. I'm sure you will, because um, man, this this saves a lot of time and, and kind of kind of headache, especially like on three different materials. Can you imagine not having to go in and open every single one of them in Photoshop and process all those channels yourself? Uh, that was taking a good couple of minutes, and I'm really thankful that 
you don't have to do that. So hopefully you guys are too. This is Hippos signing off. Thanks for watching.